Pastor Dan, and we're doing Spotlight again, and we're coming to the end, but we got a couple more of this series. Where do we find the love of God and the character of God out here in the world? And uh, we can't finish the series without talking about the Bible. I don't know how you feel about the Bible. Uh, but let me just let me just give my testimony. They sent us a letter this week from the cable company that we can get much faster internet speed now, but our router, our modem was not powerful enough and we needed to have it replaced. Well, usually that means somebody comes who knows what they're doing and, and brings it to you. But in this case, they're just going to mail it to us with specific instructions how to install it. Well, it came today. If I didn't have those specific instructions, there's no way. I have no aptitude. I didn't grow up with any of that. I don't know how to do it. We grew up in missionary houses. I didn't learn construction. I didn't learn maintenance. I didn't learn any of it. I have other things I can do, but I can't do that. And then you find this page, and it has pictures, and it says, maybe we can do it, all my family together. <laughs> what would we do without instructions? I have a friend today that I met, uh, wants me to do his wedding, and he's graduating from medical school. So he's been going to school for 20 years, smart as anything. Going to graduate in a few weeks and get married the next week, and they want me to do it. Honor, great honor. I have a nephew came to our house this week, been a residency, and he's learned, and and if you walk into a doctor's office, you want someone who knows, who has read the directions, who's gone to class, who knows anatomy, and knows how to deal with CT scans and PET scans and all the other things that doctors have to know. And I can tell you more stories this week that we were in, because we were in medical things for a couple days this week. And, and unbelievable, these smart people, but they have read the instructions. They have gone to lectures and they have poured over books and taken tests and passed boards and shown in front of other doctors that they know what they're doing. Pilate gets on a plane. He's read the instructions. He knows where to go. He knows how to radio. He knows how to read the signals and he knows how to handle emergencies because he's read the instructions. We're not on our own. And the gift of God is that we're not just out of the swamp. We're not just cavemen, you know, trying to figure this out by ourselves. God says, let me tell you how this all fits together. Let me tell you where you come from. Let me tell you where you're going. Let me, let me reveal some things to you. You don't have to guess. I was, uh, I came home one day and my sons were finishing watching a movie called Pirates of the Caribbean. Now there's more than one. I can't tell you which one. I don't know. I don't know the rest of the movie. All I know is this guy was a pirate and he, he took the boat and he, uh, what do you call it, docked it at the, har at the wharf there. And he went into town to do whatever pirates do in town. When he came back, the boat was out there in the ocean. There was a mutiny. He's not on the boat anymore. His boat is gone. Someone took over. Well, these guys are going on the way to look for the fountain of youth. And they're they are going to be gone for five years. And they have a map. And they come to the new captain. He was number one. Now he's the captain. And they said, could we just see the map? We're going to give you five years of our life. We'd like to just see the map to be sure you've got the map. And so I'll show you the map. Guy goes downstairs and he goes to his cabin and and in the next picture, he's holding up the map, and there's a huge circle in the middle missing. It's not there anymore. They're going to be wandering around the world from ocean to ocean, island to island, but they don't know where the fountain of youth is anymore because the map is missing. Then the camera swings over out into the ocean. Here's a little small boat with a little pirate flag. There is Jack Sparrow. He doesn't have the boat anymore. He doesn't have a whole boat of sailors, but he has the map. We have the map. We had to know how to go from here to the fountain of youth. God says, let me, let me help you. And he reveals to the 40 Bible writers, and we have a Bible. You think about the Middle Ages. 
for a thousand years, but most people had no Bible. A few Bibles chained to a cathedral in a language that almost no one could read. And then all of a sudden, someone, 1450, comes up with a little printing press, and all of a sudden we have Gutenberg, and now he prints a Bible. And now Martin Luther can get a Bible for himself and say, oh, we have gotten off track and we begin to have a reformation and begin to learn the truth about God because we can get a Bible. You think of the power of Bible. How many people I've given thousands of Bible studies in my life. How many people I have studied who knew nothing. They walk in the room. They don't know one front from the back. They can't tell you a chapter reverse. They don't know anything. And three months later, they know God. They know the Bible. They are changed people by the power of the Bible. I talked to people who would say, tell me things. I said, where did you get? Did you read this book? I didn't read those. They read the Bible, the power of the Bible. We often ask, if you were downtown in Los Angeles at 3 in the morning and you saw a bunch of young guys with leather jackets and looking kind of tough coming at you, would you feel better if you knew that they had been at a Bible study? Yes, because the Bible changes lives. It's the gift of the love of God in the Bible. This is Spotlight. We're going to do one more. I hope you'll be with us next time. God bless. Thank you for watching Spotlight. We're so excited about this. We hope that you'll subscribe and so you'll get all of them. And please just forward it on to others and tell other people about it. And let's just see what kind of an audience we can get for these messages of Spotlight. God bless you.